and we're back in the yard. Um, so I, I guess at like four o'clock in the morning, uh, this building, the whole power went down and something blew the main breaker for the whole building. Uh, so our on-call guy came out here and killed the power, but he didn't have time to diagnose it. So I think it's this unit. So we have our meter on uh, non-contact voltage. So there's voltage there. Voltage there. Nothing here. So I think it's this. I'm going to double check it, of course, but this is just a quick way of identifying it. So, anyway, let's open this up and see what's going on. So, here we go. Alright, so this is our line voltage here. And we got nothing. Let's double check. Nothing. Alright, cool. So this is our unit. Let's go ahead and check it for shorts. Alright, so we got a meter on ohms. Uh, so I'm going to go to ground. And we'll just do a quick one first. So we go to here. We should have this uh, in O of L, which we don't. Go to here. Yep. Then we will check our start running on the capacitor. And it's grounded. Like all three legs. So we're gonna go ahead and isolate now and just verify that it's not, you know, the condenser fan meter, because that's a possibility. But the fact that it popped the main breaker is probably the compressor. Do you guys see that screw that fell down? I wonder if that's what caused it. Man, somebody got zip tied out there. That must have been me. So it has a hard start kit and it's a reciprocating compressor, so it's already been having trouble starting. Okay, so now we got those off, we'll do the same thing. OL. OL. And OL. So yeah, our compressor's toast. Let's see what our windings look like. So we're going from common to run. 2.3 on the start, 0.87, yeah, this thing's fried. So we're gonna have to replace the compressor or the unit. Knowing these people, they're probably gonna want us to change the compressor. So when we do that, uh, we need to get the model and serial number of the outdoor unit. Uh, when it's these older compressors, it's a good idea to get the model of the compressor itself. Uh, and then when we do change the compressor, if, they, if that's what they want, we're gonna change the, uh, contactor in the hard start kit. I'm going to check this run cap and see if it's still within spec. This one is a 40-5. Okay. So capacitor is 5. Alright, cool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get the model of the compressor and then uh, we'll see what we can do. And before you guys tell me that I should be checking out the terminals, I am. And you can see it's still grounded. All three of them, too. Yep. So, yeah, this compressor's toast. So, I got this open here. I'm going to get the model number off of here because uh, it's an older compressor. So, it might be a retro uh, where we can convert it over to a uh, scroll which really sucks, but I might have to deal with that. So anyway, um, we're going to get that information uh, and then go from there. So yeah, next thing is next is we need to pull these stupid caps off. And we're going to go ahead and do a acid check. All right, so we got a little tester thing. We'll go on the suction. It's, uh, I think it's two seconds. Yes. Put it on there. Oh, it didn't turn red. And refrigerant doesn't smell, so we might be able to reuse it, considering it's 22. I always recommend replacing it, but, uh, you know. Um, 
R22 is so expensive they're probably not going to. And then the new compressor will probably burn out. Anyway, um, sorry, it's early in the morning. I'm still half asleep. But yeah, so we got all of our information. We got our model number of our unit. We got our model number of our compressor. Uh, we made sure there's no acid. Um, and then we got all the information for our contactor and our run cap and our hard start. So, um, and then when I order the parts, I'm probably gonna, well, depending on the compressor, if it's a scroll, I won't change that. But if it's a, another reciprocating, we'll probably try to get the OEM starting components. All right, so that's how you diagnose a uh, grounded compressor to ground. Um, so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like the tools that I use, um, visit my Amazon store and pick them up for yourself. I get a little kickback. Helps the channel. Thanks for watching.